Welcome to the Cox Business Video Library. My name is Dean and I'm one of several customer education specialists across the nation to support you in your IP-centric service. Today I'll be covering call history with you, which is a feature of your IP-centric's phone. I'm sure many of you have, just like me, have had situations where you receive a call, you place a call, or you missed a call, and you're, you're just like, oh, I'm just not sure, where did that call go? I, don't, I didn't write down the phone number, where's my yellow stickies, where is everything? Uh, the beauty of the IPCentrix phones is it actually keeps a call log for you. It's easy to find and there's actually some functionality in the call history functionality to save it to your directory, which will be covered in another video. But I'll show you the steps now. So let's go ahead and take a look at that function. As I mentioned to you, and this is one of the few times I won't be saying let's look at the LCD screen, but I just set it just to remind you to look at the LCD screen to navigate you. But this is one of those options. We're going to use the menu option here. The menu is the button with the piece of paper with the folded corner. So I'm going to have you press that button, press the menu button. I'm going to use my navigation button to scroll down to call history, which is item number three. I'm going to hit the select button. And at that point, I have submenus within the call history. I have my redial list, which is a list of numbers. If I select that, I can actually highlight those numbers, hit the dial button, and call them back. I'll back out of there. I have my answered call list. These are the list of calls that I actually picked up and answered the phone. I'm going to select that and I can scroll through and simply dial by pressing the dial button. Cancel out of there. And then I have my missed calls. These are calls that I didn't answer. They came through, but I didn't answer those calls. I'm going to select that and I can see who I missed. And I can select uh, the name and dial them directly. Or I can actually save them to my directory if I choose to. That's really the basics of the call history list. Again, it's the menu, call history, and then go into your sub list. There is actually a key feature within the call history list that I want to show you, which is kind of cool because you can save it to your directory, which we'll cover in another video. But I'm going to go ahead and go into my answered call list. And I'm scrolling through my list and I'm like, oh, there's that person that I really like talking to. It's a good client. I want to save them to my directory because I have trouble remembering numbers and I don't want to look at my phone list. If I had it on the phone, I, I, I could just save it and, and highlight it on the phone. So what I can do is I have my options here once I've highlighted a number, but I do have an arrow over here. I'm going to scroll over there, and I have a save option now. I'm going to hit that save option, and now it lists the name of the person. I can delete characters using my LCD screen, or I can enter a name if I want to enter a name using my keypad, and that will be shown in another video. But if the, if the name looks good, the phone number looks good and the ringtone looks good, uh, I can actually go ahead and just save them. I'm not going to show you how to make changes on those in this video because um, I just want to have you, have you save it to your directory. But now I'm going to hit this save option here. I've saved it and it's now it actually automatically defaults to my directory at this point so I'm out of call history. But if I cancel out of here and then go back, I'm back in my call history list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off hook and go back to my idle status. Now you'll notice one of my options is DIR, which is my directory. If I open that up and I scroll down, voila, there's that number I just saved from my directory. So you not only have seen your call history, but you've seen how to save it uh, from your call history to your directory. Thank you for your time.